What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video breakdown, a video I did a couple of weeks ago with Valentino, the Do Not Disturb Freestyle. Um, I've had some requests for this, so I'm going to just do a quick breakdown. This isn't a behind the scenes, this is just a breakdown to kind of explain, and I think I'm going to start doing this to be able to help other directors and, and, and other um, videographers really kind of understand how I do it creatively and, and maybe they can use something from it so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just start to play play through little clips and stuff and then kind of discuss um, some things in there overall I decided to go with the black and white theme uh, for this video due to the fact that um, this this song has a lot of emotion uh, the original song was done by Drake, obviously, um, but Valentino came and did a fantastic version of it. I mean, he was basically telling a, a, a real story that happened in his life. And so I really wanted to capture capture that emotion and draw uh, the viewer in to be able to be to really feel the song. So immediately there were some things that I started to do. And uh, we'll go ahead and get into the video to kind of let you understand how I tried to capture this. With the first clip, obviously, um, it's a little bit out of focus and kind of gives you that that disrupted look. And I did that on purpose. I did that with an effect, a practical effect that is a light leak. And I decided to go with this light leak because I feel like, and this was actually later on. So it's funny about this particular clip is this was actually the last set of shots that we picked up because of the fact that it really wasn't. It really wasn't something that I had thought about and planned out it was just something that I wanted to try because I was feeling the emotion in the song and this particular effect basically what you do is it is it, it creates this bokeh effect around I mean, it lets light leak in and kind of gives this this disturbed look um, and I think it worked really well with this video <laughs> Yeah, smiling doll, smiling doll. Been through lots of shit, but I keep smiling doll. People keep on asking what he's smiling for. I keep my head up to the sky, saw open door reflecting on my. Throughout the song, you'll notice here where I've got him back backed into the wall. Um, and if you checked out the behind the scenes, you saw that I actually recreated how, how he was doing this. Originally, he was kind of offset from the wall. Um, we shot this in my apartment and literally my little dining room area. So we really had to make do with what we had and what, what kind of space we did. And I wanted to kind of create this dramatic, this super dramatic and emotional feel to this video. And so with that, I decided that split lighting almost it almost has a Rembrandt light, Rembrandt lighting style to it, but with the split lighting that I did, where his 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 whole uh, right side of his face is in shadow, I think it just added so much depth to it. But I put him back against the wall because I wanted to create this shadow behind him. They kind of just built this this so many layers of contrast into it, and I think it worked ultimately to be the best. Last year, look at how it ended. I would have never thought it'd be that way from the beginning. I would have never thought that all the ones that I befriended would be the same ones in the end. I unfriended socially awkward whenever we just sit and conversate. The second clip you'll take a look at, I went in and did a overhead light setup, and this was basically to kind of give a dramatic, another dramatic look to it. And basically, this the setup I used was a single light source with parchment paper over it. And it's a can light that I bought from Walmart for literally like 20 bucks just because I don't have a huge setup here in the house. And so I did this setup and it actually worked out pretty well. If I could do things differently, I might have I might have lit his face underneath. So I might have put something to fill in the shadow just a little bit underneath his face. But other than that, I think it gave the effect uh, for what I wanted to do just because of his hat bill. It kind of covered up his hat or his face and gave that shadow, I, I, I would have added a little bit more feel if I had more time. Um, but if you know anything about what I'm doing or what we're doing with these videos, you know there's not a lot of time um, with these videos. So that's kind of, it's it, it, you know, it, it, these things happen. They tell me that we brothers just to sit and compensate For all the time they waste, for all the times and place That we lost touch and they realized that they made mistakes. At that time, I felt like I was about to break. 
So really that's pretty much it. So I, I posted this in a group that I'm in on Facebook and, and I got a lot of a lot of questions about why I didn't do B-roll for this and uh, or a lot of people saying that I should have done B-roll and and the reason why I, I just like to kind of clear that up, the reason why I didn't do B-roll is because one, I'm on a, I'm on such a short time frame with these videos that I'm putting out with Valentino. And two, it makes it feel wrong that I didn't put, put B-roll in it. But I think that's okay ultimately because I think what I wanted to do was kind of create this emotion and feel that something was wrong. Um, and a lot of people really won't notice it if they're just watching the video from a viewer's perspective, not as a director or videographer's perspective. But... I think I ultimately achieved what I was trying to achieve with this song um, and you know for the time and the things that we're doing I think it worked out pretty well we've had some really good reviews on it and uh, and yeah so I really appreciate you guys coming to check this video out um, if you don't know what me and Valentino are doing hop over to his channel I'll make sure I put the link in the description um, every Friday we drop a video on his channel I work with him he's an artist who is local to me um, here in Charlotte and uh, we've we've teamed up this year and we're gonna put out 52 videos that's a video every week uh, on Friday and Literally, we're planning and shooting, and literally planning and shooting and planning and shooting and planning and shooting. Um, and I'm and I'm doing this, uh, working with him. We're trying to really level him up because I see that he has a lot of talent, um, and it's something that I that I find that I I want to be able to do. Um, so it's it's super cool that I, I get to work with Valentino because he's a super dedicated artist. And um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So ch make sure you check those videos out, subscribe to his channel. But most of all, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you uh, subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, give me uh, give me a like if you like this video. Also comment below if you like this. I'll start doing more video breakdowns, kind of behind the scenes, not behind the scenes, but kind of letting you know why I decided to make certain creative decisions, why I decided to own this concept, um, and a lot of stuff um, that I actually would like to get into for his newest video if you haven't seen it. So make sure you go catch up with his newest video, go find out what's going on with his channel, watch all of my work. We've done six weeks worth of content so far, I think, and uh, we're not going to stop. So thank you guys again, and you know what it is. Make sure you stay focused. Stay creative, live your art, and tell your truth. I'll see you next time. Just another way, playing heavy on me, like the fake they on me. How you turn your back up on me, had me feeling lonely. How you turn your back up on me, then you ask for money. How you turn your back up on me, then you hit the homie. You really think you got away without me really knowing? I know you feeding for attention, no one really.